This is McCook's Mr. Bilson. Honored to have you here. How about some college hacks? I said hacks that might do you a lot of good if you're thinking about college. My first advice is when you get out of high school is not to go to college. You heard me, not to. The entire world is saying go to college. I'm telling you not to. I'm telling you if at all possible through contacts, be it the family and friends, if you can get into factory work or work for a company, for God's sake, go that route if at all possible. Check ahead of time and see if they pay for college if you're working there full time. I know so many people that are going that route nowadays. They work for a company full time and they go to college. Might be just part time. Some of them even try to do it full time and they're successful. Going to college full time and working full time. Tough to do, but they're doing it. Others stretch it out a ways. One of the gentlemen I know, he went in and he got a good job at a company. And that company paid for his college. It took him 13 years as he was working as much as 50 hours a week for that company, plus going to college. 13 years, but he got his Ph.D., the highest rank in college that you could get. He got a Ph.D., and when he left college, after that 13 years, he owed nothing, not a penny. That company he'd worked for paid for everything. While if you get out of high school, right into college, it's nothing for in four years for your, you and your family to be in debt, $100,000. That can never go away, $100,000. You might want to think twice before you pull that trigger. At the same time, if you've been working as soon as you get out of high school, for a company, it's nothing for you to make well over $100,000, maybe $200,000 during that time period. If you saved half of it, that'd be $100,000 to the good, comparatively, to being in debt for $100,000. Do you think that makes any sense? You bet. Debt is slavery. Never forget that. But let's say that you're wanting to go to college and you've uh, sent in your application, you don't have the highest grades in the world, and you have a little trouble getting into a given college. I've had uh, numerous people tell me that what they did is this. We'll use my name, Donzie, D-O-N-Z-E. We'll use my last name. And at the very end, in between the last two letters, there's an asterisk. That's right. That's all they did. They just changed that. They didn't lie on it or anything else to try to stretch the truth to get in. But their second application did it like that, and they were accepted. They were accepted. Now, that doesn't speak well of the college, but that's how they played that game. Others in college wanted scholarships. They couldn't get them until they did this little game. Does it always work? I don't know, but I know a number of people that it did work. Another one in PhD program wasn't getting any funding until they put that asterisk up there in their name, and all of a sudden they started getting scholarships and funding. Absolutely. Keep that in mind. As far as getting ahead, you can also consider the military. I had a gentleman I went to school with, went directly into the military, but he took classes and schooling all through his military. And it helped him build up. In fact, when he retired, he retired a, fur, a full bird colonel. Retirement payment, he gets $4,400 a month retirement, you bet. And at age 55, not bad, not bad at all. Absolutely, that was a good paycheck for him. And he did it with schooling that cost him nothing, nothing. Keep that in mind. My goal is to keep you out of debt, keep you out of slavery. And that's some of the ways to do it. Thank you for your time.